This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Health One. Okay, so uh, we're not going to talk about drugs today, so that's a new thing, right? Uh, we're going to talk about our favorite crystalline arthropathy, which is gout. Yay, gout. Okay, so gout's caused by urate crystals. How many of you have had an actual gout attack? No, none of you. Okay, great. I, I've had, I think, what was a mild one, and they hurt like hell. And you'll oftentimes see patients come in for gout attacks, right? So what are the kind of treatments that we use for gout? Allopurinol is a treatment to actually prevent gout. So, so actually, allopurinol is great to decrease uric acid levels and prevent gout. But when people are in an acute flare, uh, doesn't really resonate well. Indocin. So indocin and NSAIDs are kind of one of the hallmarks of treatment. Uh, indocin is one of the stronger NSAIDs, but has a lot more kind of side effects. So it's kind of lost some favor recently to treat uh, gout more commonly is treated now with like naproxen and like even traditional ibuprofen. But NSAIDs are a hallmark of treatment. What other medicines do we use? Steroids, prednisone is great, right? So gout, remember, like, what type of pain is gout? It's all inflammatory pain. So gout's caused by, like, you know, all these crystals in your joint. Your body gets pissed off out there. They send a bunch of neutrophils out. So it's all inflammatory pain. So NSAIDs, anti-inflammatories, steroids. And then there's one last one that's, treated, that's used to treat gout. Colchicine. How many of you used colchicine before? Right? So colchicine is kind of the topic of our medical minute then. So colchicine is a drug that we don't use very much. And colchicine is a, a very interesting drug because how it works is it disrupts microtubules, right? So it, it prevents kind of your white cells from being able to like get into the joint space because it disrupts their motility. And uh, colchicine, uh, you usually like there's two ways you give it. You can either give like 0.6, like once and like three times a day after the, thereafter. Or you can give this like big ass dose of like 1.2 and then 0.6 afterwards. Uh, so one thing that I did not know when I was reading a, a recent article about it is colchicine is actually a really nasty drug. So when you give a big dose of like 1.2, it's around 50% plus of your patients get really explosive diarrhea afterwards. So it's like, yeah, your joint feels better, but maybe, hey, it's not the greatest thing I put you on, right? You're trading one problem for another. Um, the other thing about colchicine that's really interesting is it's a terrible, terrible drug in overdose. So um, colchicine is one that if you put people on colchicine and let's say they go home and like overdose on it or you, they have a prescription and they overdose on it, it's one that there's absolutely no treatment for. And if you get above like a 0 0.8 uh, milligrams per deciliter thing, it's like universally fatal. So you just die. Uh, and it's like, well, shit out of luck. You can't be dialyzed. It can't be, you know, filtered out in any way. So it's a nasty drug in that respect. Um, and I just had no idea that the kind of other side effects of like diarrhea, et cetera, were so common. Um, so hating on colchicine. Don't know if I'll be using it a lot. And then finally, don't use opioids on gout. <laughs> it's just not effective, right? <laughs> okay. Thank you, friends. Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Bradley, anesthesiologist and U.S. Naval officer. I'm also the host and creator of the Black Doctors podcast. This podcast provides weekly 30-minute episodes that tell the stories of minority healthcare professionals. It is my hope that hearing these unique and inspiring stories will encourage others to consider pursuing these challenging and rewarding career paths. So please join me for the Black Doctors podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all major streaming platforms.